welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the um aquarian no sorry i'm so sorry for the aries sun moon and rising sign it is the month of march the month of march has the energy vibration of the hangman with the energy vibration of the hangman um you have five weeks and the hangman energy brings an emotional month okay um, whatever the situation is in this month um, the energy of justice comes up yeah balance <laughs> sorry uh, the energy of justice comes up balance so whatever has transpired whatever injustice that has um, happened whatever injustice you have given out to people um, justice is going to come back to you and it's not going to be good so um, if you give out in um, injustice to other people um, expect that that is going to come back to you and it's going to be balanced out and whatever um, in whatever way that you have given out this injustice uh, um, it's going to affect um, a lot of people and a lot of situations okay so <clears throat> let's look and see what you Aries have I want to thank you Aries so so much I'm sorry don't worry about me it's just that I am going through so many things at the moment but um, um, a lot of betrayals and lies and stuff around me so anyway um thank you so much you Aries I so love you guys honestly um, you people are good people you know um, um, when you're working on the positive energy vibration you guys are so loving um, and you know I have a, um, a family member who is a Aries and I'm telling you she is such a supporting um, person to me at this moment because um, you Aries you know you're when you're in, working on a positive energy you guys are so good Thank you so much for your support, like, and shares. And I so do love you guys. Okay, let's see what's happening for you guys in March. You have the energy of strength, and um, the energy of strength comes up. Um, this is good because it's helping you because this is the um, energy of uh, the fire sign. So this is good. This is helping you. So whatever that is transpiring in your life whatsoever that is happening in your life the energy of strength comes up and this strength you are going to find the inner strength to go through whatever you are going through in the first week okay let's look at the second week and see what is coming up the energy of the eye princess this is wonderful because um, a lot of people whose parents have passed over or spirit guides and all of this is coming up this is going to be wonderful this is going to be good for you Aries because what is happening is that your intuition and guidance is helping you through this situation okay as we move on we have the seven of Pentacles this is a wonderful energy of the seven of Pentacles because um, you're you're about to uh, to pick the fruits that you have uh, um, planted and this means that for some people you have worked so hard and you're about to pick the fruits that you have uh, worked hard on so um, this is wonderful and this is good as we look forward we have the ten of swords in the reverse and let me tell you something don't be alarmed at this energy thank God it's in reverse for you because uh, there were so many um, people who were getting it in the upright position and you know I was like oh my god even in um, the energy of the lovers um, people were getting it up um, upright this is in the reverse so whatever the lies the betrayal whatever that was going on finally it is coming to an end because the energy of justice is here okay then we have um, um, this is the energy for the people for the men um, the men between the ages of um, 25 and 40 or yeah 25 and 40 these this is the energy for the men between the energy of 25 and 40 and this is um, a good sign for the rest of you this is a sign of uh, you moving 
um, forward and uh, you're going you, you know you're moving forward in whatever that has transpired in um, your life so you know this is this is this is really really positive so um, a lot of you are going to be needing um, inner guidance um, um, balance that sort of a thing inner guidance and balance whatever is transpiring in your life um, a lot of you have done um, things that is injustice for the people who have done positive things um, it's going to be a wonderful wonderful time for you because what is going to happen is that that karma is going to come back to you people who have done um, you know um, uh, karmas that are lower energy um, vibration that you have done to other people this is going to affect you okay let's see what is happening between first week and the second week you have the energy of the nine of cups and this is going to be good for a lot of people um, who have been you know working towards something and wanted your wishes and dreams um, to happen whatever um, you were working towards this is going to be extremely good okay extremely good extremely positive uh, um, for the people because there's a lot of areas who are so hard working and uh, sometimes injustice happened to you and uh, um, whatever the injustice was who happened to um, you people it's going to be good okay justice comes up twice this is good um, this is positive whatever that has transpired in your life whatever that has been happening as uh, twice the energy of justice comes up so um, for the people that has been accused and was in justly accused uh, um, in the second week going on to the, the third week uh, there is a balance of justice that is going to be coming in as we move forward and we look at the fourth week uh, which we have the energy of the ten of swords which whatever lies and betrayals and whatever things that is going on and what was going on um, you're moving away from that sort of energy and that sort of a thing and you're leaving people behind in situation and um, <laughs> I said it and I have the energy of the card so um, a lot of um, you know you're leaving things behind you know you have gone through it's an ending to certain things you have gone through that you're moving forward in your life and you're leaving things behind things that no longer serve you um, people for, for, for some for some of you it's people things and that sort of a thing that no longer serve you um, it's as if your angels and guides and is coming up to help you because the energy of the eye princess is the central of your reading and it's as if your intuition and your angels and guides are removing you from people and situation and things that no longer serve you and this is good because you are moving out of a situation that no longer serve you into something that is going to be much positive for you the first half of the month you are going to be having um, the ten of wands in the first half so a lot of uh, a lot of people who have been dealing with certain situation um, you're going to have a sort of a burden that you have to carry in the first half because you have the energy of inner strength um, the ten of swords and so whatever lies and stuff that has been told it is finally over but then you receive a burden that you have to and you're going to leave this burden behind so in the um, fourth and third the fourth and fifth week you're going to leave this burden behind because it was as if you were carrying a burden for a lot of stuff that was going on a lot of dishonest things a lot of lies betrayal um, a high level of uh, um, things that was going on that was on you know unbelievable uh, that people um, you know people were selling out each other people were being a uh, very betray a lot of betrayal people selling out each other that sort of a thing so um, then we have the energy of the seven of Pentacles coming up again um, your energy vibration for this month is going to be the number seven number 77 there is a lot um, because this is coming up twice so um, you are going to proceed forward in your life and um, you're going to be planting new um, um, 
you know it's as if you're um, you're going to do something else and you're going to plant good um, situations it's as, it's as if I see a lot of people changing up stuff uh, making things different changing their ways uh, um, that sort of a thing they're going to be changing their ways changing their lives and um, you know moving um, forward in their life in whatever reason however but they're you know it's as if they're um, you know looking and and, and, and trying to uh, break through and, and and do something else and going to try you know it, it, it's, it's like as if if you were always working for huge uh, corporation and huge organization you're going to decide you know I'm gonna start planting a, a seed to grow something else it's like um, you are trying to change things that are happening in your life you're gonna some people are going to you know move forward on a new career some people are going to realize that certain things and certain people in certain situation no longer serve them and they are going to be um, you know moving forward to look for something that is uh, much better that is that that that, that really really um, coincide that really um, vibrates with them and this is going to be extremely extremely good okay so you know when I look at you read it it's gonna be a month of uh, um, balancing it's gonna be a month of balancing whatever that was in just whatever that was really in just whatever situation that has transpired in your life that was really really in just that um, things had transpired that uh, um, carries negative energies from other people who have done um, illegal stuff and uh, um, have uh, um, you know work on things that um, that was against you and that sort of a thing what you're going to see is that uh, or you yourself have done things um, you know against other people what you're going to see is that this karma is going to be repaid and you know be sure and be careful what kind of karma you have sent out and what you have done to other people because if it's good karma good karma is going to be coming back to you it's a month of um, karmatic situation happening um, karma is coming back to people whoever you are whatever you have done to another person um, in the past in the future or in the in the present you know um, the karma is going to come back at you and trust me whatever you have done it with this karma coming back at you it's gonna be harsh because we are in a time when things seems to be um, the karmatic situation that's that's coming back is so powerful because it's affecting each and every person so try 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 um, I'm asking each and every person to try and just do the right thing and um, because whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring in your life whatever the karma is that you have given out this karma is going to be coming back at you and coming back at you with the um, twice or three times the way you have um, done things and situation to other people for the rest of the people it's gonna be whatever karma that has been done to you whatever injustice that has been done to you um, this injustice is going to be balanced and you are going to see positive situation and energy coming out remember um, for help you can call upon um, Archangel Gabriel and uh, Archangel Michael to stand in your aura and clear your aura and seal it off uh, call upon um, Saint Germain and Archangel Zachiel to blaze the gold and silver oil of flame over you and there is also the Mahatma energy um, you know call in on these energies the Mahatma energies to come in and, and cleanse each room of your house and seal all doors and windows off that sort of a thing and ask it to flow through you and surround you you can always call upon the fire dragons and ask the fire dragons because they're more powerful and clean and really lower energy so call upon the fire dragons and ask the fire dragons to seal all doors and windows in your house 
and ask them to stand in your aura and clean your aura and you know ask them to um, blow fire through your um, body to cleanse your energy and cleanse your body okay because that is you know that is really good especially when you're going through a month like this because the month would just this comes up when oh it doesn't if it's a legal matter um, and you were really in just accused if and, and it's a legal matter you are going to win big time if you have done something to someone that was really on justice you are going to get the book coming at you like three times over okay so be aware of the energies that you give out because whatever energies you give out in this month is what you have to deal with okay alrighty we are going to move forward and we are looking because um, I don't see any other messages number 77 is going to be um, the number neurotic for you guys and number 77 is always seven is that you're always on the new um, part so if you feel as if something is not right and you know or you feel as if you are you're vibrating with something that is incorrect and you should you should um, give this up okay so we're going to look at the love energies. so we're calling in the angels of love to show us the energies for the Aries people in this um, month of March and we are asking to show us the energy for the women who are over 40 and for the men that is over 40 for the ladies that is over 40 and for the boys that is over 40 okay um now let's look at the love energies for the ladies over 40 um a lot of you ladies you know the energy of love for this month is you know you guys are just focusing on building a solid foundation building on your financial situation building a strong foundation and on your financial situation whatever the situation is whatever that has been happening whatever that has been transpiring you ladies you know it's not about love it's all about billing on your you know um, billing on your financial situation so it is a sense of you trying to find yourself and to protect yourself from being hurt um, in relationships in this month and this is going to be happening for you because um, you are going to you know stand away and, and observe things and realize that whatever is transpiring needs to transpire and I'm I'm, you know, guided to ask a question: Why the nine of ones? You know, they're saying that you're protected. So, um, they're saying that you're protected. You know, it's all about work for you because this is the seven of ones. Um, you are protected. You know, so it's not all about love um, for you guys. Another seven comes up, so you're on the right part. Whatever is going on while you're reading this, and you have. Um, you know like an intuition or something like that you're on the right part this is the, the next seven that came up so for you ladies out there you're spiritually protected whatever the situation is whatever that is going on you're spiritually protected um, it's not all about love for you it's as if you're putting love on the back burner um, but you are being protected whatever the situation is whatever that is happening you're putting love on the back burner but yet still you are spiritually protected and I can understand that a lot of you ladies out there you know is seeing this as you know whatever is happening I am NOT um, putting my heart out there because you know the situation is not um, looking so healthy for me at this moment so you know I'm just gonna um, um, you know ask God for divine intervention and protection as we move forward we have the energy of the king and the energy of the king in and this is the love reading so you have the energy of the Empress so some of you men are going to be connecting to this lady 
and this can be um, someone who is a Capricorn okay um, you can be connecting with a Capricorn so be aware of this that um, some of you men are going to be um, involved or getting involved with a Capricorn so um, this and, and 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 this and it's 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 a positive energy I don't know um, sometimes they say that um, you know the uh, um, you guys and the Capricorns are good together and that is well that is so because I have um, my cousin who is so tender I can really get along with her so um, that could be you know right okay all right we are looking forward and we're looking at the ladies um, 25 and older um, you know this can be 18 to 25 and older whatever situation that you were having and whatever situation that you were in um, whatever relationship that felt as if it's a burden it's no longer a burden okay so I'm um, seeing that some of you ladies between the ages of 18 and 40 you had a relationship that was feeling as if it's a burden and now you're turning your back on this relationship you decided to turn your back on this relationship you decided that you know this is not what I want this is not what is fulfilling me so you are going to be turning your back on this relationship because some of you are going to realize that you know this is not working for me and um, it is you know just a waste of time and you know I'm just gonna focus on my kids focus on you know my work or my kids and see what happened and I need to ask a question why is it that you're turning your back on this relationship some of you are turning your back on this relationship and going to choose for someone um, that is the king of Pentacles some of you are turning your back on a relationship let me see who your turn some of you yeah um, a strong stability okay you whatever relationship that some of you ladies are in at this moment and you are feeling this relationship to be very burdensome what is happening here is that the energy of the king of Pentacles came out okay so you're turning your back on a relationship that you're in now and you are looking um, it could be a relationship with um, someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you might be turning your back on this relationship some of you might be turning your back on um, cancers or water sign people but you're moving towards this king of Pentacles for some of you some of you are moving towards this king of Pentacles because you think that this king of Pentacles have more stability for you whatever is happening um, whatever relationship that you're in you're turning your back on that and you're um, looking for uh, um, someone that um, can bring you more stability in your life and this is going to be good because um, whatever the situation that has been going on with you um, you're realizing and you're seeing and you're knowing that uh, you are now turning your back on whatever the situation is and you're moving forward and you are trying to connect with the king of Pentacles and this king of Pentacles is going to bring you a wonderful good stability okay as we move forward and we're looking at the energy for the men um, between the ages of 25 Oh, 25 and 40 you have uh, um, a sense of uh, working together with whoever you're in a relationship with okay so I am seeing and what I'm seeing is that a lot of you men whatever relationship you're in at this moment you're working together with that person to make sure um, that your relationship is in balance okay and this is very very good because I don't even have to ask a question about this because what this is saying is that 
whatever the situation is whatever that was happening whatever that was transpi transpiring you are realizing that this relationship is in balance and you're working together with this person to make sure that everything goes well in this relationship okay so this is a, um, this is um, really wonderful you know the, the month is all about you working on stuff and making sure that whatever that is coming up that is going to be good okay time goes so fast when I'm doing these readings okay let's look at your money section your money section is um, as I can see in the in, you know in the second half of uh, the month is that you're trying to plant new seeds you're trying to open up new doors and uh, you know whatever doors you're trying to open up they're going to be opening up for you so for your money you have the king of swords whoever this king of swords is and then you have the ten of pentacles which is good and <laughs> you have the three of swords a heartbreak so um, um, whatever is happened I need to ask what is this heartbreak what what, what loss um, is real from fortune so it's a karmatic situation and but you have the ten of cups so this is good some of you are I have to deal with um, sometimes when the scar comes up they say justice but it's not justice it's the energy of because justice is already here twice it's the energy of someone who is um, a is the energy of someone who is a um, Aquarian a Gemini or a Libra you have to deal with this person okay and for some people this person have to pay you whatever they have to pay you they have to pay you um, some money and this is going to be because if it's a legal um, if it's a legal situation you have won this legal situation because you have find out you found out what has transpired and what went on and you have really win this legal situation um, in a good way and and then you had the energy of the three of swords you know you felt heartbreak and loss but the heartbreak and loss is that it comes because of the wheel of fortune you felt a heartbreak and loss over a situation that is a karmatic situation so whoever this person is this king of swords um whatever money that you have to um receive from him it, it, it comes up as um, you know whatever and transpires heartbreak and loss but yet still um, at the end of the day you have the energy of the ten of cups a happy a happy outcomes a happy 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 outcomes okay so that was what, what was, was, was was happening because there is obviously and I still want to know um, why the, the three because if you know um, you have a situation with so I'm asking the guides because if um, this man comes up with a ten of Pentacles but a loss wheel of fortune but you have an happy outcomes because you have the ten of cups so there was a loss but what is this loss about this loss is the loss of maybe people situation maybe you have known this person for a long time whatever this um, loss was and the situation was um, you have known someone for a long time but not to worry about this loss because um, this loss is that people you see people for who they are okay um, yeah the conflicts that that come with it the conflicts that comes with it okay so uh, this this uh, three of swords is a loss because there has been conflicts that come with this situation with this uh, um, with this king of swords and the ten of pentacles the, you know this is it, the situation is that you have known this person lifetime and lifetime before there you know it's as if and this is why the energy of justice comes up because your wishes and dream are going to be coming true so for the people 
who had to deal with the king of swords for the people who had a legal situation for the people who had a legal situation and you had to dealt with the king of swords the king of swords needed to pay you some money and as if he has done something illegal and in injustice and what I'm seeing is that some people have to deal with this person some this was uh, people who were working with this person but it was a, a, a huge conspiracy and lies betrayal and that sort of a thing and you are going to realize what has transpired. So this has went to through the legal um, system. Um, this has went through the legal system, and it's as if all the lies are coming out because the ten of swords is in reverse, and whatever burden that you were carrying, you're leaving that behind, and you have the energy of the nine of cups. So whatever that has transpired, you're going to win this because you have the energy of the Nine of Cups. So if you have a legal um, situation with someone who is a Gemini, a Libra, or a um, Aquarian, you're going to win this. And he has to pay you some money. The loss that you feel with the Three of Swords is the loss because of conflicts because a lot of people were lying they get paid underneath the table and that sort of a thing betrayal was going on and that sort of a thing and this is what transpire for you guys so um, for the people who have been you know dealing with someone who um, holds you money and you had to take it to court or you have to find some way of you know getting this resolve then this information this came out but it is uh, something of a karmatic situation um, and the wheel of fortune for some people is bringing you a lot of happiness and fulfillment because the energy of the ten of swords is here and good news is on its way so um, whatever the situation was whatever that was transpiring you have whatever the loss was the loss come because of a conflict and this was a huge conflict the loss that come is of a huge conflict but yet still you end up receiving the money and you are going to receive the money because um, this loss of conf uh, that that transpire you are going to receive the money because this person has been um, for some people not for um, everyone this person has gone through the ropes to make you look bad or that sort of a thing and um, you know now it has come to an end so there is a huge victory and success of what has transpired okay um, ladies and gentlemen no matter what is going on you know people are you will <laughs> You know, the people who hurt you the most are the people who are closer to you, okay? Okay, I can look for, and I'm going to put on my glasses. And, you know, I've been, I've been seeing this. Oh, my God, people need help. I can look for things I appreciate in a relationship. I can look for things I appreciate in a relationship. You cannot get the relationship of your dreams when you chronic your chronic thoughts are all about relationship, feeling lonely or hungry or worried or disappointed. But as you look for things you appreciate in yourself and others, as you make it as a positive aspect of the past present relationship, you train your vibrational energies, offering to match the vibration of your desire and your perfect mate must and then come in it is the law of attraction okay so whatever is happening um my darlings and um, not to worry um obviously you know <laughs> oh my gosh i have been i you know people people are wow but anyway, <laughs> whatever is happening, just say no. Just say. You know, this is this is a wonderful card because all the universal angels and guides want you to do is just say no. And 
and it, everything will happen okay just say now everything will happen so not to worry about what is happening just say now okay and I have been working with this deck it's a new deck I don't know what a lot of people um, think about this deck so um, let me know not a lot of people are going to you know like it so let me know Mars this is good a lot of career changes a lot of career changes are going to be coming in I did say that to some of you because I'm seeing it here that you're going to start plant something else you're going to start changing to something else and this is going to be good so Mars a career change um, you guys have to deal with a whole lot of career changes like your whole life is going to be uprooted and then um, you are going to have a new start again so um, this is wonderful I love the energy of Mars it's just a beautiful energy so I want to say to each and every person no matter what is going on in this month um, I'm with you um, and just ask the angels and guide for help okay namaste